Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin for a runner 955 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. Before we start, you can pair this watch with an iPhone in two ways. The first method is to do it during the setup process of the watch, so basically if the watch is brand new or, or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second method is to do it uh, via the settings after the watch has been already set up, because you can set it up without uh, pairing the phone, basically. First I'm gonna show you how to do it during the setup process, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it via the settings. Now let's continue with the pairing, so uh, first thing you will need to do is to turn on the watch. And you can turn it on uh, by pressing and holding the light button. Keep holding it until you see the Garmin logo on the screen. And once you see the logo, you can uh, release the button and wait until the watch turns on. And after the watch turns on, uh, you may see the list of languages on the screen. Basically, this is because this watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And now we can scroll through this list by using the up and down buttons or by using the touch screen. Scroll through the list, select the language you'd like to use on your watch, and then you can press the start slash stop button to confirm. And once you select the language, you're, you're gonna be asked if you want to pair the watch with a phone. We want to do that, so let's confirm by pressing the start slash stop, and the watch will enter the pairing mode. You will see this animation on the screen soon, like this. This means that the watch is in pairing mode. Now, we need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on our iPhone. So, make sure you have internet connection and Bluetooth enabled on your iPhone. Once you do, open the App Store. In the App Store, tap on the search. Then tap on the search bar and type in Garmin Connect. Uh, there should be space between them. So Garmin Connect. And then tap on Search. You should see this application on the list of apps, Garmin Connect. You can tap on it and then tap on the button right here to download and install the application. Let's confirm. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. And as you can see, we have a pop-up about the uh, permission for Bluetooth. This one is required to pair the devices together, so tap on the OK. And if you don't have any more pop-ups, you can tap on the sign in or create account, depending what you want to do. If you want to log in into Garmin account, so basically you have an account already, tap on sign in. If you don't have an account and you, you need to create one, tap on create account. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap on sign in, check the box, tap next, and this will bring me to the login page. Now I'm gonna tap right here, enter the email address, and then the password. And once you enter the email address and password, you can tap on Next to log in. And after you log in, you will get, probably you will get more pop-ups about the permissions. For example, this one is about the notifications. So if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on the watch, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. I'm gonna allow it and wait a couple of seconds to see if we got if we get more pop-ups. And if you want, your app should detect your watch automatically. You should see the ready to connect, your 4 runner 955. If it doesn't detect your watch, you can always try to press the back button to go back and re-enter the pairing mode basically. Or restart your watch by pressing and holding the light button for a couple of seconds, basically five to 10 seconds, the watch should turn off and then you can turn it back on by pressing and holding the light button again and enter the pairing mode again. And at this point, the app should detect your watch. Then, once the app detects your watch, tap on connect it. And now we need to enter the code from our watch right here. So 30, uh, 05, and 10. Tap on pair. Uh, 
another pop-up about the notifications. You can allow it or deny it. Now we can tap on next. Here we can set up a bedtime. So basically when you go to bed and when you wake up, this is useful if you want to use the uh, do not disturb mode during sleep uh, option. Uh, basically it will turn on automatically when you go to bed and turn off automatically when you wake up. And you can tap on bedtime right here to change the time on which you're going to bed, then wake time to change the time on which you're gonna wake up. And once you're done, you can tap on next and select if you want to enable do not disturb mode or not. I'm gonna tap on yes, but you can tap on no if you want to. Here we can set up some goals for our, ourselves, something like step goals and stuff like that. If you want to do it, tap on edit my goals. Also, you can tap on skip to skip this step. If you tap on edit my goals, you will see the list of goals you can basically customize. You can change it to something like maybe 8,000, something like 25, I don't know. Basically, you can change the values by tapping on the a box and then entering the value you, you like to have. And once you're done, tap on next. And here we're being asked to allow the permission for the location. So if you want to basically track stuff like your uh, running uh, exercise, maybe cycling and stuff like that, you need to uh, allow this permission or it's recommended to allow this permission, but you can also tap on skip to keep it denied and not allow it. I'm just going to allow it. So I'm going to tap this. Next we have the calendar access. This is needed if you want to access the info about the events and stuff like that on your watch, basically from your calendar. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and keep it denied, but I'm just going to allow it like this. And once you're done with the permissions, you can tap on sync now, tap on finish. This will bring you to the uh, tutorial how to use the watch and you can go through it by tapping on next button or you can tap on skip to skip it basically. Right here we can set up the weather if you want to you simply tap on manage weather location and there you can select uh, the location from which you should get the weather. I'm gonna tap on no thanks, tap on got it and once you're done you should see the my day page in your application and you can see the icon of the watch right here you can tap on it to open the device page like this. But if you don't see this icon right here or you have more than one, you can always tap on more icon, scroll down, tap on Garmin devices, and this will open the devices page and on it you should see the Forerunner 955. And you can tap on device page to, or rather on device to open the device page for it. Okay, so that's how you pair the watch uh, during the setup process. Now I'm gonna unpair it from our phone quickly, like that, go to the Bluetooth settings, uh, remove it from here, like this, and now we're gonna pair, in, pair it with our iPhone via the settings. I'm not gonna re-download application again, I'm just gonna open it and we're gonna do it from there, but basically it's the same as we did before. The, the, the only difference is we enter the pairing mode on our watch through the, through the settings instead of like during the setup process. Okay, so let's enter the pairing mode on our watch. To do it, press and hold the up button, wait until the menu appears on the screen, then use the up and down buttons to scroll through the menu, find the option called connectivity, this one, and once you select it, press the start slash stop. Here select phone, Press the start slash stop, scroll down, find the option called pair phone, and press the start slash stop to enter. And as you can see, the phone is in the pairing mode. Now we can open the Garmin Connect application. We are logged in already, so that's why we have the My Day page. So uh, if you are not logged in, you will need to log in, and the app will detect the watch like we did first time. But now we can tap on more uh, Garmin devices and tap on Add Device button right here. As you can see, the app detected the watch automatically. You can tap on Connect it, enter the pin from the watch, tap on Pair, and then it's uh, all the same as we did before, maybe besides the permissions because some of them are already allowed, so you don't need to allow them again if the app was not uninstalled from your 
iPhone. Bedtime goes sync now. Finish tutorial and boom, we are back into the My Day page. And if we go to the Garmin devices, we have our Forerunner 955. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.